G'day everyone, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for this week's update on the Game Day Squad competition we've got running. Obviously, it is the prelim finals and Game Day Squad is still running. So if you've got a team, make sure you're still updating it. Try to cram it full of players playing this weekend to generate the best score that you can. There's still plenty of Game Day Squad action coming up, guys. Obviously, we've got two weeks left in the men's season. But of course, we have got most of the AFLW season remaining. And the cool thing about Game Day Squad, like I've said countless times, but because it's a dynasty league, like the earlier you start, Start, the better your team will be even if you don't necessarily make a real run for winning the competition this year you can carry that team into next year and be better for it and get a head start on everyone else again of course there is also weekly prizes to be won as well so there's something to play for each and every week so as I said today we'll be going through my team for the upcoming prelim finals in the men's competition but make sure you join the AFLW competition we've got as well the link for game day squad as well as the invite codes for both leagues are in the description of this video remember it's completely free to sign up up. Make sure you join in on all the fun and let's get into how my team went this week. So as somebody pointed out in the comments section, I had an absolute mare last week. I thought I got my team under the salary cap to get them back into the classic competition, but I'm 50 grand over, which means I stuffed up and I still only scored 1480. 1480, it's hard to know if that's a good score in uh, the context of finals, because obviously it's a lot harder in finals to fill out your team. I think I had one or two players not play at all last week, but this week it's gonna be different. I'm gonna have to try and get down below the salary cap, uh, which will probably be easy because if you scroll down here, I've got a, a platinum Dan Houston, I've got a gold Clayton Oliver, which will have to come out of my team because both of those teams got eliminated last week. But generally, you look across the uh, the team here, some mediocre scores. Dan Houston really delivered. He got 185. Uh, Newman was well below average. Uh, other than that, yeah, not a lot to be excited about in my back six. The midfield is where I was arguably strongest. We had 150 from Kelly. 122 and 141 from Whitfield. So I'm in a good position here where a lot of my players are Giants players. Um, so it was quite a good thing that they actually beat the power. Having said that, I also have a few power players, but that's all right. I'm happy with the, the quality of the players of the Giants that I have. Uh, Clayton Oliver, 136. Yeah, it was all right. Pitna here, I think this is a glitch. He definitely scored some points. He got 38 fantasy points, um, but it's a zero here. I'm sure I actually got the points, but uh, for whatever reason, not showing up with his score. Forward line, of course, Fritsch, another player I'm going to have to eliminate. Rosie comes out of my team as well because he's gold. In fact, the forward line is going to get absolutely munched. But in today's video, we're going to try and... Uh, open some packs. We've got another uh, 12 players to unpack in this video, and I'm hoping they're all from the four teams playing in this week's prelim. So let's get straight into it. So once again, I've been given two rucks and a midfielder. Um, again, I don't really need more rucks, but hey, these are the free ones. So let's open up and see who we got. First player is, who do I want it to be? Who do I want it to be? I think I've got McInerney already. Uh, who else is there? Doesn't matter, let's open it up and see who we got. Okay, Raleigh O'Brien, I think I already had him. This is the midfielder player now. Let's see who we got. Hopefully, hopefully it's like a, uh, who do I want it to be? Uh, I've already got Tom Mitchell. Uh, Scott Pendlebury would be nice. Petrarca, damn, if only he had performed better last week. That's still a pretty good one, considering, you know, he's gonna be good next year, you'd think. Who have we got here? This is the second ruck. Kieran Briggs would be nice as long as he's fit. Ah, Lloyd me. Okay, so yeah, nothing really to be gained from that. And we're going to open my common pack now and get nine players all in one hit. So I'm hoping that these guys are all players from the prelim. Come on, we want them to all play for Carlton, GWS, uh, Brisbane, and Collingwood. That's obviously not going to happen, but as many as possible would be nice. Let's see who we got. Zach Jones, Hustway. So that could be a good long-term option. Obviously, it's not just about this season. Taylor Adams in platinum. He has been ruled out for the prelim, but... If Colin would make the grand final, that could actually be very handy for me. So I'm happy with that. Who else have we got? Crouch, Bruce, Pryor. Okay, I don't think Pryor is going to crack a game, but Salem, that's a pretty good one to have. Chol and Menegola. Okay, so I have got just Taylor Adams and potentially Pryor uh, that could come into my side. And I really don't think Pryor is going to be there, but that's all right. So now what we're going to do is try and see if uh, I can get an improved team for my prelims. It's going to be tough going. Let's have a look. All right. So as usual, we're going to start with a back line and get rid of players that are not playing this week. So Dan Houston is going to be the first contender for that. Now, who is playing in the prelims? There's not too much on the board there that I can see. Darcy Moore, probably Darcy Moore. Start with Darcy Moore. Burn Jones as well. I can probably upgrade Newman to Silver as well, which is nice, but let's just have a real good scout of who we've got. Nick Newman, Silver, I'll keep them there. I've already got the bronze version in the team. Oh, Dacos, of course. I forgot about Dacos for a second. I've got him. Beautiful. He comes in for Burn Jones. 
So then I've actually got a pretty fully equipped team. Uh, let's just scroll to the bottom and see if there's anyone obvious that I'm missing. Nah, so the only other option I have there is Nick Newman to be upgraded to silver, which is, uh, you know, not bad. I'm happy with that. Cool, so as far as my backline goes, I'm happy with that. Obviously, Dacos and then more and then Newman, uh, Gold, Darcy Moore averages 91. Dacos obviously averages a billion. Nick Newman's also had a pretty good year despite a quiet week last week. So let's move into the midfield now. Clayton Oliver and Ollie Wines need to come out. Who have we got? We'll replace Clary first. Taylor Adams is not playing, so I'm not gonna bother, but I do have a silver Tom Mitchell. So that one seems quite obvious. I've also got a silver Lockie Ash. I've got, I've got some options here in the midfield. That's very, very nice. Maybe Ash comes in. His silver average is 111, but let's just keep looking. Perryman. Uh, worth a shot as well. Is he... Oh, he's platinum. That's probably a little bit too expensive for me. I've got a gold Taylor Adams as well. Interesting. Steel side bottom. Josh Dacos. Okay. All right. My midfield's actually really strong. Uh, not too worried about Ed Allen. I've got Callum Ward. Okay, let's... What was the priority here? It was the silver lucky Ash. 111. Still pretty happy with that midfield. Acres at 83. Uh, Average is 102. Probably going to be playing a bit sore this week after... That uh, injury copped, obviously he played through it and kicked the winning goal, but uh, still side bottom, 92. Maybe maybe side bottom doesn't make my team and I keep acres there. Considering I can afford it, that's not bad going. Okay, uh, Pitney and uh, Lysett. Let's replace Lysett first because I know that I'm certain I have McInerney. I've also got Darcy Cameron. That's pretty good going. Uh, I really thought I had McInerney. Maybe it's my roommate that has McInerney and I don't. Either way, okay, I'll get uh, Darcy Cameron into the team. In fact, I need to get Darcy Cameron onto the field, actually, because he is actually the better averager. Who would have thought that I would be using Darcy Cameron as my ruck, like, halfway through the year? I didn't know at the time Game Day Squad was going to be playing through finals, but that has worked out perfectly. And then I'll chuck Pitney on my bench. Cool. So, so far, every spot is filled. Uh, it's the forward line that is going to be the big threat, as it always is. I've got to replace four players. Five, if you include the bench. Okay, let's replace Fritch. All right, so straight off the bat, not a lot to be excited about. Um, who else we got? We got Josh Honey. He didn't play. Oh dear, the forward line is a mess. There's not really much I can do with this. I might have to put Josh Honey onto the field, but I don't even know if I can afford him because he's gold. That's a pretty horrendous result. I don't know if I can do anything with this. Well, I can afford Josh Honey. Like I can chuck him on for no reason because he's probably not going to play. Uh, and I can get Rosie out. It won't cost me anything more because they're both gold players. Great, really improved my team there. Is there anyone on the market I can have a look for? Team. Oh, I can filter it by team. Beautiful. All right, so let's have a look at Collingwood first. See if I can get someone cheap. I've got $2.86 in my account. Myacek and Ginevan. What, what's, I can't really see Elliot's price there. Five bucks, probably a bit steep, but I'll get Myacek for 25 cents. And yeah, not bad, considering it's going to improve my team in the short term. Uh, okay, let's go for a Brisbane forward. Why not? Oh, wait a minute. I have Hipwood somewhere. I have Hipwood. Anyway, let's just have a look to see what I can get. It's Devin Robertson's average. Really poor. Yeah, he's not a really high disposal player. Let's go to GWS. Oh yeah, what's Toby Green cost? Probably Squillions. Brent Daniels, a bit expensive. I'm really looking for these bargain basement buys. Like, get bloody Ginevan was there for 25 cents. Connor Stone, not gonna play. Bedford, oh, this is intriguing. Right, let me go back to my squad and get Hipwood in, and then we'll reassess. What happened to Hipwood? I swear I had... Ah, oh, there we go. Sneaky Hipwood, always hiding. Cool, and then uh, who was the other player I just bought? It was my check. Mario, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Uh, he is here somewhere. Let's get him into the team. He's got 118 last week. That's really impressive. Cool, so so far so good. And how am I going on salary cap? Still got 150 grand and I've got one, in theory, two more players to uh, try and improve my team. Let's go back to the market, like little piggy. Okay, I've seen one I like. I know the Hostin Elliott scored 94 in fantasy last week and he's going for 50 cents. His average score is 71 silver, that's all right. It's only 50 cents, so I'm happy to do that because I have a little bit of loose change in that account. Is there anyone else I can buy? Let's, uh, we haven't had a look at Carlton's forwards yet. Jack Martin is likely to come back into the side. Josh Honey and Silver. No, thank you. Kerno's five bucks. 
Makai at one dollar is tempting. He is going to come back from concussion. Harry Lemmy, Silvani, Silver Zach Fisher. I've already got Zach Fisher in bronze. I don't think I'll bother. Makai. That was a really cheap Makai. Ooh, no, no, yeah, 38 cents. Zach Fisher in nine cents. That seems too good to pass up. So I'll improve the uh, bronze Zach Fisher I have. I'm really making a charge for this team. And then I might just get Makai. Well, let's have a look one more time at Collingwood. So there's McCreary there in 49 cents versus Makai. There's also Ginnivan. Uh, he didn't obviously score well. Was he the sub? I can't even remember now. I think I'm going to go back for Makai. Let's do it. He's only real cheap. Uh, can I search by name? Yes, Makai. Here we go. What's the cheapest Makai on offer? It was a dollar. How much does this one cost? Three ninety. Let's go for the one dollar Makai and round out my team. Ninety-one. Uh, obviously, there's a potential kicker bag, which will put him uh, really high. So I think I've done a pretty good job rounding out my team there with some really cheap players. So Honey becomes Hoskin Elliott. I think it was. Hoskin Elliott comes in, saves me a bit of money, which allows me to upgrade Zach Fisher to silver. Boom, improving my team. And then Harry Mackay will come in and uh, round out my best 22. I'm pretty happy with that. I think I've done a pretty good job there. That was uh, quite lucky. Cool, so that is my team. I have everyone on the field that is likely to play. I'm not gonna bother replacing with uh, Tipper. I think I'll just leave it. It's probably not worth it. Um, watch that come back to bite me in the ass, but I'm pretty happy with that, guys. And uh, just the two Brisbane Lions players, interesting. Wait a minute, I have Lockie Neal on this team. And Dacos. Oh, Dacos needs to come in as well. And Lockie Neal. Okay, I'm glad I picked that up before I stopped the video. So Dacos comes on. I might just downgrade Ash to Neal, because I think Neal... When I say downgrade, I know that uh, Ash is silver and it'll leave me a little bit of money in the bank, but uh, Lockie Neal is more likely to perform well, I think, uh, regardless of the silver thing. So there we go, guys, that is my team. I'm gonna be well under the salary cap, I would have thought. Well under, $250,000 under, but I've got some really good players in that team as well. So I'm very happy with that. That rounds out my uh, update, guys. Let me know in the comments section what you agree with and in terms of the moves I've made. What changes would you make? How's your team going? And most importantly, make sure you join the league for both the AFLW and the AFL Men's Finals. Guys, it'd be great to have you join the league and it would also be helping the channel if you came in and made the team. But thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.